What's going on everybody? Tony Evanov here with another video lesson and today I'm going to talk about the one stock I traded today. Uh, it was FORD. They had great acquisition news. It was a huge gap up. I placed two trades on this one. Uh, the first trade kind of messed up because when I was trying to sell, I missed my sell button. So I got a bad execution made around $20 on the first trade. On the second trade, made around $280. So just around $300 on the day today. Um, not the biggest win, but you know, nice, small, consistent profits. Um, always, always very nice. I left a lot on the table because I could have made uh, around $750 if I held on for just a bit more, but wanted to lock in those profits while I had them because it could have uh, dropped just as fast. So I'm going to talk about uh, why I traded it, how I knew it was going to spike, uh, you know, and the patterns I used when I bought and sold. So if you want to learn all about that, Make sure you watch the whole video. Um, but first, if you don't know, every single day I give away $25 and it goes to the random commenter of the previous video lesson. So we're going to do that right now. We had 142 random commenters or unique commenters. I keep messing that up. 142 unique commenters. Thank you all so, so, so much. I think that's the most um, that we've had so far. So thank you all so much for commenting. And let's see who won the 25 bucks. So if you want a chance to do this, all you have to do is uh, leave a like, leave a subscription, leave a comment down below, and you'll enter the raffle. So Chris says he loves it, learning so much from my videos, and keep them coming. I'll definitely keep them coming every single day, so don't worry about that. Um, so just Chris, make sure that you uh, you message me on YouTube with your PayPal email address, and once you do that, I'll send you your $25. So let's just jump right into this lesson here on FORD. Uh, first off, let's look at the daily chart. We can see that this had a huge gap up. Uh, yesterday, it closed around $1.29. And, and today, it gapped up to $2. So it gapped up around 100% already at pre-market. And it was going even higher. So if you look at the pre-market action here, you can see it just kept on squeezing higher and higher in pre-market. And uh, let's look at the news now and, and see exactly why did this run? What type of news made this run so heavily? Um, let me just get this over here real fast. So let's type in F-O-R-D. And we will find that uh, they acquired a product design and development company, Intelligent Product Solutions, um, which is involved with the Internet of Things. So that's a very hot sector right now, and they acquired the entire company. So of course that's good news. Whenever a company acquires another company, that means they have more revenues, more assets, um, and they just have more business opportunities. So on the low float stock like FORD, that's great news. There was no other real good news um, on on any other stock today. So everyone was just 100% 100 looking at this one stock. Every day trader had this in their sights and had it in their watch list. It was also on my watch list, which is free on my website, tonyavnov.com slash blog. Um, I post it there every single day in pre-market. And um, there's no reason why you shouldn't have been watching this stock as well if you were trading today. Um, it was on everyone's scanners. It was on everyone's watch lists. It was all over stock twits, Twitter, and everywhere. So it's really no surprise that this was the one that ran big today, you know. The thing that you have to understand about these stocks, the reason why they move is because of people buying. And when, there's, when everyone in the market is buying this one stock, um, of course it's going to be the one that's the most volatile and has the most opportunities. So you have to be focused on the ones that everyone else is trading. You don't want to be the one the one person trading one stock. You want to be the one that's with the party, with the mob, with everyone else buying and selling. So that's exactly what happened with FORD. So now let's look at the areas to enter the stock and and um and the areas that um I entered the stock. So the first place I entered it, of course, was the breakout of the pre-market highs. Now, um, when I was doing my live stream with my traders this morning, um, 
I was watching this pre-market action and I was really saying that this really needs to have a morning sell-off, find some support, and then squeeze up past high of day. Um, I really didn't want you know to buy the pre-market high of day break right at the market open because it was up so much. Here at this point, it was up around 160% on the day, way too much, and I just felt like it had to have a, a pullback. But, you know, market open, there was a ton of buyers who came through so I I um I didn't like want to ignore that huge buying power so once we once we broke over two dollars and seventy two cents I placed a market order of a thousand shares and I got executed at two dollars and eighty one cents and um on this trade uh my main goal was just to make like twenty cents per share because in my mind I knew that this wasn't going to be the big spike that I had, um, mainly because it had to have that pullback. So we had a huge run up. Well, not not a huge run up. We had a quick run up. <coughs> we hit like three dollars and nine cents, and once I saw three dollars and nine cents, I I attempted to hit my uh, my sell button. Um, but apparently I I missed it or something. I, I'm not sure what happened. I I was almost certain I hovered over the button and pressed sell. But then I looked at my orders and there was no order that was, uh, you know, appearing. So then I hit sell one more time. But by that time it was too late. It dropped back down to $2.83. So I made a whopping two cents per share on that trade. No big deal. Uh, I'm glad I, I didn't take a loss on that trade because Eventually, it did have that huge, uh, huge gap down, not not gap down, um, huge pullback, and then here's the area where I said, okay, here's the consolidation that it needs. Let's see where it can find support and start making higher lows, and then eventually have that squeeze up into the high of day and break out. And I, and I was telling my traders that this will likely happen around. 10 o'clock market time so we pulled back we tried to have support here on middle bollinger band but it failed <clears throat> and then we found support on this moving average right here and then once we tapped this moving average we started making higher lows so i was watching this whole time i did not um trade it down here but of course in hindsight um the best area to buy this would have been the breakout of this high right here at two dollars and fifty seven cents so let's bring this line up right here so once the price dips down it spikes up a tiny bit and then makes a higher low and then it breaks this top that's basically like a confirmation that okay this is going into an uptrend it's no longer downtrending, it found its support, and now this is going back on an uptrend. So in hindsight, the best place that you could have bought was the break of this top. Because right at the top, you can see it had a massive spike in volume. It broke through VWAP as well, and then it just instantly squeezed up towards high of day and broke through high of day. The point that I bought was at the break of high of day. I bought 750 shares, and then... We squeezed up a tiny bit further and then boom, we got halted. So once we got halted, um, that's when you know, okay, this this stock will likely be the one that's going to have a big jump because one, it has great news, has great acquisition news. Two, there was really nothing else running today. Uh, it was a pretty slow market except for this one stock. So everyone is watching this stock. Three, now that it's halted, Everyone has a chance to, you know, have their buddies know, hey, watch FORD, it just got halted, has great news, might want to watch it after the halt and jump in. And that's exactly what happened. But uh, with me and myself, I didn't want to hold on too long. I just wanted to get in, get out, and get my profits because one, this was a Friday and usually Fridays are one of the worst days to trade because just there's less traders overall because people like to take their day off. So I didn't want to go for a huge, huge win. 
I just wanted to get that nice profit that I knew would be there. So after the halt, we spiked up, hit that market order, sold at $3.63, made around $300 on that trade. Very, very, very nice. Um, if I was using more shares, say that uh, the time I traded it this time, I used 2,000 shares, I would have used partial sells on the way up and not just all of it at once because I only had 750 shares I didn't see the value of doing partial sells on the way up if I had more shares of course it would have been much more valuable to do that of course after my sell it squeezed up even higher hit a high of around four and a half dollars so of course I I didn't get the whole move but I got the meat of the move and that's how you make your profits, you know. You never really know how high these can go. Um, you just have to not get greedy and lock in your profits while you have them. And then, of course, it found its top. It got very choppy up in this area. Um, and then here, here started to break down below the middle Bollinger Band line, and then it went bearish. So that's really it um, on today. There was nothing really else that had any good opportunities. And I was telling my traders, okay guys, just understand that it's Friday. Um, we may not have any good plays, and if that's the case, don't be afraid to take the day off and just have your mind free for the weekend and come back fresh on Monday. Um, you never really know if there's going to be good opportunities, and you can't have the mindset of you have to trade every single day, like I said in, in the last video. It just happened to be that this stock had great news, so it presented that opportunities. Um, but yeah, there was really nothing else to trade today, so that's all I have to say for the penny stock market today. Um, tomorrow, I'll, tomorrow I'll, I will be making a cryptocurrency video on Binance because there have have been some great opportunities. So I'll do my best to make one video, one video tomorrow and one on Sunday, purely on cryptocurrency because a bunch of you who have just recently join this channel join because of cryptocurrency so i want to be sure that you guys have some benefit as well so with that being said um that's going to be the end of this video if you saw value in this content please leave a like leave a subscription leave a comment down below and you'll have a chance to win 25 bucks and just don't forget you're only one pattern one strategy away until you're a consistently profitable day trader so don't give up find that one pattern and trade it over and over and over again and you too will become a successful day trader. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.